Come here, Samuel. Make that sound. It's the Beauty Benz here, and I'm back with another video. This video is going to be a chit chat talk through. This video is a tutorial. Yeah, that's it. A tutorial on this look. Um, so this is basically a um, smoky eye. If you guys want to see how I got this look, just keep watching, okay? Okay, so let's get started with this look. First thing I'm going to do, I'm using this palette. Um, smoke I got this on Amazon color payoff is pretty decent it was like $25 so or maybe even 20 so it's pretty cheap but I'm going to start by using a big big fluffy brush so we're gonna use so we're gonna use this color to set my eyes um, I already went ahead did my eyebrows and concealed them and I have concealed on my lids so I'm gonna set Okay, so by the way guys, I'm using this palette for the entire video. Oh, look at that. That sucks. Okay, but anyway, so I'm going to dip into this color called Poof Next. Kind of like a like a light brown tone with like the slightest hint of lavender. And I'm going to use this as a transition color. By the way, I'm using a big fluffy brush. So next, I'm actually gonna use the same brush, but I'm just gonna focus. Um, I'm gonna focus the color more right here. But next, I'm going to take this orange color here. Next, I'm gonna take this color. It is called burlesque. This color right down here. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put that. In my crease as well but I'm gonna focus it more like right on top of the crease I'm not gonna really blend it out too far up by the way I'm using a different smaller um fluffy brush this time so I'm really trying to keep this pink can you guys see it I can't even tell I'm actually gonna add a little more like orange on top of this pink just because I want it to look more like a blend towards the top. Yeah, looks good. What we're gonna do now is use I'm gonna use this brush here. I think this is a packing brush. What we're gonna do is dip into the black. I'm gonna really pack the black on. Well actually no you don't, I lied. And I just did that, but what you want to do is start light and then build it up. Because if you put too much black, you kind of screwed. And yeah, we don't want you to be screwed. So we are packing the black. Okay. I should get contacts because I have like really bad vision out my right eye. So I can never see my left eye. And of course you can't do makeup with glasses on. So what we want to do now is take another brush. So we can't, we're not going to use a brush we've used already. We're going to use a, a fluffy brush, another fluffy brush. We don't want a large one. We kind of want a medium sized one. We don't want that too, we don't want one that's too concentrated either or else it's going to be just like hard for us to blend, to get it to blend up. But we don't want one that's too big because we don't want to cover all the work that we just did up here. This brush, by the way, has nothing on it. So we're not putting any black, no product. Like, we want a, just a nice clean brush. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna place the brush between my lid and crease. And I'm just gonna blend. Very, like, slowly but surely, the black is gonna start moving up in the crease area. It's gonna give us a little bit of light. Yeah, slowly but surely. And this look like might take long and that's okay because we don't want to um, we don't want to like pack too much black or rush on the blending and basically cover up the work that we just did over here and blend, blend, blend. And blend, blend, blend. I'm sorry every time I'm going to blend I'm going to wipe the brush off yeah I'm gonna take the flushy fluffy that's a flushy I'm gonna take the fluffy brush that I use to apply the orange to kind of 
just blend this out a bit. Now we're gonna go back to this eye actually and blend a bit more. Blend it up some more. So we are going to add a bit more black. I'm gonna just tap this brush in once just to add the black. I'm only applying the black on my lid, so I'm not gonna to touch the crease at all. I'm gonna keep it relatively low on my lid. So my lid kind of goes into my crease anyway. So. so just like what we did on this eye, I'm gonna go back over this eye a bit. So the orange. Mind you, I didn't um, dip this brush back in. I did not. Didn't. Didn't is a weird word for me. But I did not dip this brush back in the orange. I'm just using any like excess. Okay, so what we're gonna do is move on to concealing and foundation. So I, I did prime my face. Or oh, how did this happen? Oh my god. So I'm gonna prime my face. I'll go ahead and conceal my face. Um, I know most people do concealer then foundation. No, they do foundation then concealer, but I like to do it the other way around because I like it to look more subtle. Like I don't, I don't want my highlight to be like that bright. Okay, so I'm just gonna blend this all out with my beauty blender. <laughs> So now I'm going to take my foundation. So right now I'm using um, the Smashbox Studio Skin 15 Hour Wear. And 315, I'm going to mix that. Um, the Fenty Beauty Foundation in the color... Oh, 340. 340. I got it. There we go. Okay, so now I'm gonna take this um, this LA Girl Pro Concealer. My face is completely different. I'm so just gonna have to live with this. So I'm gonna go ahead and blend these out just so they don't dry too like harsh. And then we're gonna go around and do the whole thing. So I'm using this brush that my best friend got me from um, Real Techniques. Shout out to Matt. We're gonna start actually by blending it up. Just so it doesn't get, you know, too far down. Okay, perfect. And now we're gonna come over to this side. I'm gonna use this brush here to follow up with my under eye, and I'm gonna use the same exact colors that we just used. So besides the transition, we're gonna skip them. So I'm gonna take this orange and attempt to drag it in my eye with this painful brush. Oh, my oh it really is in my eye. Oh, actually, I'm gonna go ahead and hand it with the black. Oh, that's okay, Rina. Fix it if we have to. Okay, we are almost, 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 almost done. Why does my brow look so sparse over there? So I'm gonna go ahead and add eyeliner. Okay, so we're gonna blush, highlight. So now I'm gonna highlight. I need to put some eyebrow gel on. This has been a new thing for me. Like it just makes your eyebrows look a like so much realer, and then b they just stay in place all night. And your makeup's like less likely to come off. It's a tank for me now. The last thing I need to do is add my lip, and for the lip I'm gonna be using Uniformly Fabulous from Mac. It's like a basically like a dark purple. Okay, so I just fixed uh, my lips. Um, 
I had a hard time on my lips because I'm like a perfectionist, especially with like lippies and lipsticks and stuff. And like these lines just gotta be perfect. Like I can go at it all day. But um, I forgot to contour my nose. So we're gonna do that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, also we need to do inner eyes and then a cat eye. With like bold looks like these, it's so easy for me to forget things because this almost looks finished already. So yeah, we're gonna go in. I got this eyeliner from Sephora and I honestly love it. The tip is perfect. Okay, so for this look, as much as I want to, I'm not gonna do lashes. Just because like, I totally should, but... Just gonna do mascara. This is, like, my top brush when it comes to, like, brow bone, like, brow bone highlights. It's so perfect. So I'm gonna spray this brush with some Fix Plus. And we are going to dip it first into the color I used to highlight. Just gonna kind of like lightly tap it. And it's not so perfect. Okay. okay, guys, this is the finished look. Um, yeah, that's all I have to say. This was hard for me because I just want to keep protecting everything. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and thank you so much for watching. See you in my next one.